Purdue lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Steps out of bounds at the 27. That's a team. That makes it six and eight. Second and eight, ball on the 27. showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're gonna try to get to this one. It's away and it's a booming punt. Gets out to about the 31. Purdue's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brett, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. They go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He goes downtown. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. has the INT. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. From the 45-yard line, third down. Hey, check Mike 39. Black five, black five. Orange three, orange three. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. And he's going to come up with a 
the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just, just to dominate the game. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Let's go! Easy, 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 easy! Motion, 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 motion! A yard, maybe two on the carry. Midfield. Second down. No four. Easy, easy. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made the 42 yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From the 31 yard line. First down. Hey, check like 39. Check like 39. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good man, oh, what a hit. That'll make it second and four. And he's taken down at the 23. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Down around the 25 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Oregon State could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 3-0, Oregon State. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Beavers have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Now he's scrambling. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That Short yardage situation down. here. It's second down and one. Ready. Ready. It was complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. Three nothing, Beaver.
Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. He scrambled. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. And down he goes. Right around the 50. That'll make it second and injury. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. That makes it From the 42-yard line, it's first down. And he tackles him hard at the 40. That brings up second and nine. He's hit and taken down. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 21. Ready! Blue 88! Blue 88! <laughs> Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. It's the ninth play of the drive. Gets it, he's in space. Tackle right around the 18-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. That makes it third and seven. On the throw, incomplete pass. Purdue can tie it up here with this kick. It's up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Watch 14, watch 14. Hey, check Mike 39, check Mike. Two. He steps out around the 21 yard line. That brings us third and 14. Hey, check Mike 39, check Mike 39. Red two. Go. Wants to go long and done. And it's intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 50. Now he 
tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 49. Complete. He's got room. About five yards that time on the throw. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Come on! Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. stop around the 43 yard line excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down he doesn't want to touch back here he wants to knock this ball inside the 10 Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. What are you doing? So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Red two. Red seven. Check, red. check. Dancer, dancer. So at the end of the half, 3-3 three, three tie. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. It's usually just something that a coach writes on the board. No big plays. No. But typically when you have offenses like these, you get a few big plays. Uh, what do you think the defense has done so well in terms of taking away those long plays? Well, that's always your goal coming into a game is you want the offense to drive the length of the field and make them put together third down, you know, explosive, or make them put together third downs and make them get short yardage. Really just you're okay with them eating up the clock and just not getting explosive plays and big, long touchdowns. And, and that's your goal. How do you do it? you got to just limit the damage. Sometimes you're going to give up that 10-yard play. You make a tackle, you wrap it up, you get back in the huddle. Sometimes you're going to give up a big run. Wrap them up. Don't let them get – don't let them score a touchdown. So you always want to make an offense drive the length of the field and earn everything they get. And so far in the first half, that's what they've done. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half.
Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback for Oregon State. They've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. They also have that one takeaway. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, their outfit has been dismal so far, that's for sure. When you have a bunch of negative plays, it drags you down. And for Purdue, they've had a dearth of big plays. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's on the run. He can run. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Man, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. Slides on the play. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. I got one, I got one, I got one. And he's tackled at the 48. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. That makes it first and 10. He's scrambling. <laughs> Tackle made around the 35-yard line. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. That makes it second and six. From the 35-yard line, second down. Makes the grab past the marker. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the 13. Good gain there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. This is the eighth play of this drive. Ready! Touchdown, Purdue! And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 10-3. Purdue's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Runs it left for a decent game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Two, yellow, three, go! 
Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down around the 42 yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He's got him up in the backfield. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. It's second and 13. Ball on the 39. Watch 14, watch 14. Red, two, go! They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That was a loss of one yard. That brings up third and 14. He's scrambling. He sails it long. That's a great tackle at the 31. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hit! Red seven, red seven. Go! And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one yard. That'll bring up 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Scrimmage, loss of one. That makes it fourth and four. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. State lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And he's tackled at the 19. This defensive end has been a full Yeah, you know, I think we're all beginning to see that this guy seems to play much faster in person than when you watch him on TV or when you study him on tape. To me, this guy just has instincts. He's got a nose for the football. He always seems to find his way to the ball carrier no matter where got to get his teammates to help him out a little bit more, bring them back into this. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make adjustments, but if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And they push him out at the 19-yard line. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. The Boilermakers lead it by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Purdue is up by four. Let's go! Complete brought down, nothing to Third and eight. Ball on the 21-yard line. And he tackles him. 13-yard line.
after the sack. It's now fourth and long. game of chicken which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter Sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Throws it to cover. He just picked off. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. Purdue holds a four-point lead. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's tackling at the 37. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Here we go. Flag 68. Flag 68. He scrambled. Here's an opening. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 35. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ready! Wide 88! Wide 88! Check, check! 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Throws <laughs> complete, he's got room to work. What a play! Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. That's, that's a game of 25, 25 on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Less than three minutes in the game. tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. And he got about six on that little scramble. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four-yard line. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. And this play is number eight on the drive. Shows some moves and he's in. And he 
tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Purdue's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points on. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And two, X7. And a quick throw. Down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. From the 31-yard line, first down. Myers quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number seven, the intended receiver. That makes it seven and ten. He flings it. That close to being intercepted. Number seven, the intended receiver. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Throws in a hurry. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. And they're looking to get two points here. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. It was a six-play, 76-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. The Beavers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. A one-yard gain by the halfback. They go to the ground game. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it third and three. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! Motion me out. Jack, Jack! Thunder! Thunder! Hut, hut! the stop at about the 25-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee.
Purdue's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.